Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sandbox Saturday stream. I'm Alex Flores, a.k.a. Kamasasi. Joined here in voice, mind, and disembodied soul of Lucas is Dead. How you doing, Lucas? I am doing quite well, Alex. I was uh, a little stressed when the, when I first got to the stream today, but a few minutes of chatting with you and I am uh, right as rain. And this is How are you today? <laughs> and uh, yeah, and dead, yes. yes, because you know, spooky season and all that whatnot. Exactly. But hey, don't don't mind me. End of October, <laughs> Lucas will be alive again. There we go. For the next, I don't know, thirty-one days. I don't know how calendars work. I am dead. Twenty twenty-one and some change. Forty-seven days. Twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sixty-five days and counting. All right. So we're gonna run through these announcements. We already made all these announcements on Wednesday, but if you weren't here. Check these out. We got him again. Shibuya 109 Land is having their event ending October 31st. Rewards of 80,000 sand in a shared pool only for Shibuya 109 Avatar holders. And 20,000 sand shared pool open for everybody. Let me check that event out from the link of the chat. Uh, there's also a link here to the uh, Avatar Collections. And uh, you do need to have a KYC account and complete all the quests in the event, uh, which is 15 quests, not too bad, uh, to participate in that uh, prize pool. Plus, they're fun. There you go. That, that's, I mean, that's really why we're here, right? That's why, I, that's why I'm here, at least, because right. I like playing games. Uh, we've also got the Captain Tsubasa event Tsubasa. ending November 1st. Uh, what is the deal with that? A hundred thousand sand pool for Tsubasa Avatar holders. Twenty-five thousand sand open for everybody. Residents of Japan are not eligible for Avatar owner rewards. Interesting. It does. It specifically says Avatar owner rewards. So it I wonder does. if that means people from Japan can collect from the twenty-five thousand sand pool. Um, I know part of that has to do with. Uh, what Japan allows as far as like hmm that's a really good like, question now, at first I was going to say no I, they're excluded from the other one but now that you mention it it's very specifically worded so yeah yeah. I wonder if like they didn't have to buy anything so just participation maybe yeah. it's the initial purchase that I'm going to have to ask somebody Panda might know um, hmm. or Scott or Amy uh, so, I, was gonna say, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to ask Scott yeah because I, I think the reason why um, people in Japan have not been able to participate in other events is because you had to be holding, like, the Alpha Season, you had to hold an Alpha Pass in order to get any prizes, which meant buying something to get stuff, uh, which is, I guess, considered gambling, technically. Like, online gambling. Okay. Okay. Um, did, did, different countries have different rules, and it can be confusing and weird. Um, the second part is difficult to understand what to do to get the EP. Uh, well, I think to get the EP, you just have to play the games, which are right here. There's two of them. Um, maybe you're, are you, I haven't read this part yet. So, uh, Nankatsu team versus Toho team, two teams, but only one ultimate prize for the champions. The soccer team with the more quests completed will be able to claim the prestigious Tsubasa Cup NFT. Inspect your avatar's traits to determine your allegiance. Ah, so interesting. that's cool. So yeah. if you have a, a Toho team or Nankatsu team uh, avatar, which would be a trait on your on your avatar, um, uh, if your avatar has Toho uh, home or Toho away traits, and then if you're so there, yeah, there's I guess there's four different traits here, and there's home and away traits for the two teams. Um, then there's a twist. The neutral teams, pink home, pink away, green home, green away, will seize the cup no matter which side emerges victorious. Wait, what? That is confusing. <laughs> what does that mean? The neutral teams will seize the cup no matter which side emerges victorious. I don't... I don't know what that means. 
The BitFox uh, said, told you so. You know, and I told you so <laughs> wasn't really necessary necessary here, BitFox. <laughs> But thank you for pointing I didn't, it out. I, I didn't. I didn't not believe you. I like I said. I hadn't. I hadn't read uh, that part yet. So I. I just thought that it was like EP. But then it's like mm. EP, and then they filter it by like your traits to go like how many people, uh, how many points a team has. But then, but then the neutral teams will seize the cup no matter which side emerges victorious. So it's saying the neutral teams will seize the cup. So the neutral team gets the cup. Oh, uh, well, okay. Over here it says one Subasa cup NFT for the winning team plus neutral team for winning plus neutral trait avatar holders. So I guess we have two questions to ask Scott. <laughs> so does that mean that like if Toho wins, then Toho pink and green get it and Nankatsu gets nothing. Just forget about those guys. I guess the thing is to hold one of each each team's avatar just in case. <laughs> um, Catch your bets. Yeah, but it's not bets because it's not online gambling. It's not. Well, yeah, it's not a bet. It's a, a you know a competition. But play both sides, I guess. <laughs> I, I really don't know. That's that's really interesting. I would definitely ask on Discord uh, from the uh, community manager. You want to drop the to link see. for that in the chat? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is, it. It all made sense until I got to that second to last sentence, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> it Hold did say up. it was a twist. It did say, but here's the twist. But here's uh, the and, twist. And the and and the twist was was very twisty, and I have not. Mm. Uh, untangled it yet uh autumn's v uh, autumn vibes vox edit contest is still live uh that closes october 22nd at 11 59 p.m utc uh so just get cozy with it make something orange and yellow and red and brown and and pumpkiny and warm and like like you know cold weather but cozy clothes you know the the, the mix of it all i'm thinking and oranges it, and yellows and yeah browns. definitely not yeah. what's going on outside for me right now because we had like two days in the 80s fahrenheit i don't know what that is celsius it's the mid-20s i think oh alex Hey Siri, what's 84 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 28.89. <laughs> 8, I was right about it being in the 20s, but it's in the high 20s. Uh yeah, on in in October, which is really unusual for Connecticut. So uh it's been it's been a, a weird fall so far. Uh but the leaves are finally changing. Mm. And pandas pick of the week for things on the sandbox was Deja Vu by Puzzle Bros. Uh, actually, I want to make sure that that link works when you click it with the page. Okay, good. Sometimes sometimes I get sent these links and it says hub at the end of the URL and that just dumps me back to the main page. So, but if you delete the hub part at the end, it does take you to there and it puts page oh, okay. at the end instead. Yeah. So if any if somebody gives you an experience link and it says hub at the end, just delete the hub part. It it would say it like up here in the URL. Send bar. it back. Yeah. Just just go just hit backspace four times. And then and then it'll take you to where you want to go. When TSB chat GPT I, I don't really? know what that means. Like there there's so many things that that could mean. Uh with a no code game editor like the sandbox. You don't need chat GPT to code for you. So right, you want it to write? You can just do that to the side and then copy and paste it in. Mm. Um, yeah. Trying to put me out of work, Rakopath. Um, <laughs> Not possible. And You're irreplaceable. <laughs> I hope so. Um, 
we are still giving away the helmet season pass on the WYSIVerse Discord. If you go to discord.gg slash WYSIVerse. Get that. Discord.gg slash WYSIVerse. Okay. Um, there is still 24 plus nine and a half to 33 and a half hours um to uh to enter Alex and his numbers today i you know i'm 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 working those arithmetic muscles that have not uh done a whole lot of heavy lifting for the past 15 years um <laughs> so uh we're giving away seven of these on the WYSIVerse discord uh and people have been able to join once every 24 hours so if you join right now you should still be able to get another entry in on Sunday tomorrow uh, before it closes uh, so each entry is another chance for you to win one of the seven that we're giving away and we're also giving one of these away today here on the stream this is a wearable piece of equipment uh, it's a pretty pretty cool spiky helmet it's the helmet uh, it's, yeah it's the helmet it's very punny I love it um mm. This gives you early access to the Hell Diggers uh, events, which are supposed to be live right now. Somebody, I I was talking to somebody who was having trouble connecting to them earlier. I don't know if that's been fixed yet or not, but they are over over here somewhere. They're like right, they're somewhere. Not that hell. Well, if you just type hell in the um in the search oh here it here it is right above the big yellow goat so if you if you take a look at the central sandbox right the above state, the big yellow goat everybody knows where the big yellow goat is yeah go up between Shaun the sheep and lululand take a left between mokaverse and sandbox go up through ledger and invincible through mad balls and well whoever this big yellow goat is goatsville Proud home of the Mason de Goat. I have no idea what that is. Goatsville. Uh, it's Goatsville, Alex. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> through uh, through McDowell Land, and uh, and then you're at Hell Diggers, and they've got uh, a bunch live right now. It does say that I should be able to play, but I also have extra access. Like you can see, there's like a little key icon here, which means it's NFT gated. Mm. Um, but as staff, like I have to help people with testing things so I can kind of mm. just sneak in if I need to, to help people out. Um, so if I'm able to access these, it doesn't mean that everybody else is able to, but they're supposed to be live if you have the helmet. Uh, so if you've got a helmet, check it out. And if not, there is a discord uh, that you can check out. It's the Zero Game Studio and they've got their website linked and you can get to the Discord from there. Um, so yeah, we're giving away one of those. Uh, they're also they're also airdropping NFTs to people who hold those helmets. All right, <laughs> quite a trip. Well, okay. So the fast way is just to click into the search bar and type "hell," and they'll show up. That's that's the shortcut way of doing it. Mm. Super short. Super but easy. if you just look north of the middle estate, it's pretty there easy to find. Easy. Next to the big yellow goat. Easy. So it's a Saturday. We play games on Saturdays. On Saturdays, we game. And last We game time, and we critique. Yes. With constructive you, criticism. There you go. I like constructive criticism. I think it's wonderful. I know a lot of people shy away from it, but... How else are we supposed to grow? Alex is a wealth of knowledge. Let's dig into that big old beefy brain of his. It is probably mostly beef these days. Um, <laughs> what? What does that even mean? <laughs> you called it a beefy brain. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're a beefcake. You got a big old swole brain muscle. Super wrinkly. All right. Well, I'm going to do... 10 reps and then we're going to launch uh, Flappy Coffee by It's Jam Game 
aka Biverson Art and Company, uh, who asked us to check it out last time, and uh, we were out of time. So it's a four by four. It is a four by four. We don't see a lot of these. They're not technically supported on the map yet. Uh, eventually, they should be. Hot Hill says, wow, that's big. It's as big as we can make them. At, at this point. Wait, you can't do... Oh, yeah, you can't do bigger than a 4x4. Four four. It's not... There's, it, the option's not available. The option is not there. All right. I do appreciate that this game is in English and Turkish, but I can't read Turkish, so we're going to go with English. Hoddles, uh, yeah, yeah. We often take I, the bait. I saw the bait, and I was like, you could actually, if you watch the replay, you'll you'll see it, like, scrolling across my face, just <laughs> me being like, 90s computer screen style. Yeah. <laughs> just, just the words oh. glowing up. <sighs> That was tough. That was it. Was like I ran a marathon in three seconds. It was See, just like, don't do it, don't do it. For me, it's like it's like I I see the bait. I go, but the bait looks really tasty, and, mm. and I'm not really worried about the hook. So mm. we're just gonna take the bait and run. Hmm. I like the way you live your life, Alex. I respect that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump into English because I actually speak English. I know how to read it. Turn the volume a little bit. All right, we got a menu. We've got a crowd event going on. Oh, and this cute little kid with purple hair. Menu. Uh, normal, hard, or fun part? Let's start with normal because I don't know. Is it like Flappy Bird? Level one. Oh, we died. Already? Take and you're coffee. terrible at this. <laughs> uh... We take a coffee. And then... Woo, look. We're... Oh, okay, I see. It gives so us Byerson wings. Says, there isn't much text to read. I designed it for entertainment and testing purposes. I wondered how the 4x4 <laughs> would behave. It is an almost finished or wait it was almost a finished game okay it's kind of like do we know it it is difficult to to change direction ah. oh no so we actually it, we don't fall down very fast um actually i'm running up right now which i was so not how do you... expecting oh how do you drop down then if you're running up uh if you just stop moving okay cessation of motion maybe you should take the runoff um no i kind of like the the run okay how do you die oh, well you got a checkpoint uh you die by touching the ice Okay, that's the only way to to to, to cark it. To what? To cark it. You know, pass, die. I've cark it. Cark it. Is that a like a phrase? Yeah. Uh, cark it is a slang term that means to have died. It originated in the early 1970s and is a shortened form of the word carcass, which means a dead body. The term is not commonly used today. I I, I noticed <laughs> because I've never heard. I've watched a lot of movies and stuff from the 70s and I've I've never I've never heard that one. That's a new one. You're welcome. I I did not. You're welcome. I enrich your life. <laughs> We all learned something that day. All right, I'm having a hard time getting enough, ah, getting enough lift. You can't really jump in the water. Oh. Well. 
And if I if I if I get too much lift, I end up hitting the entrance to this area. Like that. So I'm not sure. Can I crawl? Ah! No, I cannot crawl. Ooh, just barely. Oh no! No, I'm trapped. How do I get out? You can jump in the water. I am jumping. I'm tapping jump it. It's not a... Uh... Oh. Okay. It Sometimes it gives me lift in the water. Oh, I made it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what the so, that sounds like. Byerson says, you can jump in the water, but you must open run. I... Oh, hold shift? Oh. Oh, that makes it so much easier. I was just doing regular... <laughs> I had ah. so much so much lift as I exited the water. Woo! That looked cool. Oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> it's so much easier with run on. <laughs> I was apparently playing in hard mode with no running. <laughs> Which is funny because I was you running left earlier. And right. Also, if you move left and right, well. Falling in the air, you can break and continue walking in the air. I've kind of noticed that one. So is he saying, like, you constantly flick back and forth, left, right, left, right? Yeah, well, um, I mean, I was hitting jump while I was doing it to, to like, do this little zigzag maneuver here. Hmm. Serpentine, Alex. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oof. Hey! Close one. Yeah. Nice. I'm about to say, if you don't celebrate right now. <laughs> uh, next level, I guess. Level two. Ooh, they're purple on this level. <laughs> I like it. So do you have to grab the coffee to to run? I, I can't do the air jump without it. Gotcha. So that's some sort of platform? Uh, Yeah, I think so. It's probably putting a surface underneath me to jump on. It gives me wings, Lucas. Don't you understand how caffeine works? I don't. Very slow. Apparently people who sued Red Bull didn't know either. People sued Red Bull? Oh yeah, because it didn't actually give them wings. They won too. Shut up. No? I don't want a human anymore. <laughs> False advertising. It said it would give them wings and it did not. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> That's like the person who sued McDonald's because the coffee it's was too hot. It's not at all. That's a totally different situation. Oh. I feel very bad for that old lady. Why is that? McDonald's. I'm not going to talk about it in this stream. Fair enough. Because, Fair because enough. I, we're not partnered with McDonald's USA, but I'll tell you after the stream. Gotcha. Hooray, beer. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing political at all about beer. Nothing. Ever. <laughs> Ever. If you know what's good for you. Oh, 
Psycho Pass is. So what did they get? A year's supply of Red Bull? That would be hysterical. And still no wings. <laughs> All of the Red Bull came in cans with wings on it. Hey, if I got a year's supply of Red Bull for free for suing Red Bull, I would sue Red Bull every year. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> and I'm saying that literally, I don't know if that's how it works. It, it does not work that way. Whew. I don't think, I, so I don't think you can call double jeopardy on a class action lawsuit. No, I think it's once it's done, it's done for forever. Well, but um, I mean, you could get sued for another another action, I guess. Mm -hmm. it, would, it would have to be something not related to the initial. Ah. Let's go. Give but me wings. Now we are too high. Not lawyers. And this is not legal advice. No. Nope. NLA. And well, NFA is actually the name of the high school near where I grew up. <laughs> Not financial advice. Really? It stands for Norwich Free Academy. Well, I didn't think it actually stood for <laughs> not financial advice. I just didn't. That, that's, that's interesting. I assume the A stands for Academy or something like that. I know you already said it, but I was. Yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah, it's the name of the city and then Free Academy. Okay, we can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody put in the chat how much you don't believe that Alex can complete this. This is Taunt easy. him with your this words. Is, this is the normal difficulty. Taunt him with your words. <laughs> mm. ah, it's such a narrow gap. You gotta get just the right height. I'm boxless. This is a zero percent chance of you completing this. I. Dang it. <laughs> Why is everybody not like me today? <laughs> you know we love you. You're all being so mean. <laughs> You're all so mean to me. We're trying to motivate you, Alex to help you do better. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, okay. So you, you're trying to, you're making me, you're gonna make me mad. So I go, I'll show you guys. I will beat it. Just Hulk smash through all the layers of ice. Get straight to the end. <laughs> the game is permanently destroyed. <laughs> yes, I play the game so hard that it breaks it on their computer. Ah, what? Yep. And that's how it's done, Alex. That's how it's done. So how would you change this if you would? Or what, what edit? What kind of edits would you make to this scenario? Have somebody else play it. <laughs> I was never good at Flappy Bird. Like, it's not my kind of game. Uh, OK. I'm, I'm not saying that there's a problem with this. It's just it's not the kind of game that I'm good at. OK, um, that's fair. I guess you see one of the difficulties is that like the feeling of the jump feels slightly inconsistent, but that's mostly because of human reasons, I think, like mm. it's slightly different timing on pressing the space bar is going to have a slightly different result. Whether you're running or not, it's gonna give a different result. So it's um, it's hard for me to tell as somebody who doesn't normally play this. Am I experiencing a difficulty because of my own lack of skill, or is it because um, there's something mechanically wrong with the jumping? And I mean, it's it's it is exploiting a a physics glitch mm. to get the mechanics. So getting it to be 100% consistent is going to 
be difficult, but it does feel like it's pretty consistent and it's mostly my own lack of skill, I would say. Gotcha. So, I don't know that I'd really change anything, except like I said, have somebody okay. else play the game who's like better at this kind of thing than me. Um, that's, that's not me. This might be the kind of game, like if it was a mobile game, I might play this for like a day or two um, and then never really look at it again. But it's there. There are definitely going to be people who would play a game like this and play it every day for years uh, if they could. So. So NFT Santum asks, what is the name of this game and how is that working? It is not one of the Dead Fellas games. This is Flappy Coffee by Byerson. Yeah. And it is a four by four test. And how it's working is we suspect that coffee that Alex's avatar is holding in front of him, that little steaming <laughs> cup of Joe is actually a platform. So when he picks it up, it allows him to jump and continue to jump through the air. Alex, is that was that semi accurate? Yeah, so if you um it's worked different ways from version to version. Um okay. I mean mostly the same, but people have accomplished different results with it. So the the basic thing is that the coffee has an asset attached to it, like probably like an L shape. So like like here's here's the character and here is the their coffee and there's uh something hooking underneath the player so that way when they hold the coffee and they jump their feet are hitting um hitting the under part of the coffee so it's a platform that you can jump off it's pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps um uh it works with a jetpack like system only air control is slightly different I, I didn't know there was a jetpack system. This is news to me. Jetpacks where? <laughs> An invisible a magic carpet, basically, yeah. Um, now, I've seen similar mechanics to this using slopes, invisible sloped assets. Somebody did like a car racing one where you would um, get into the car, meaning picking the car up technically. Uh, mm -hmm. And there were sloped platforms uh, in front of the player so that way, as you would move forwards, you would, um, sorry, it's a sloped platform behind the player. So as you would step forward, you'd be stepping onto the diagonal platform and then you'd start to slide down it. But when you slide down, you hit the ground, so you can't go down any further. So you end up sliding forwards which puts you onto the sli sloped platform, which makes you slide down. So you slide forwards and it would just recursively loop that physics. So you just would shoot across the map really, really fast. Gotcha. Um, it was really cool. Um, but no, we don't have any vehicle mechanics yet. Uh, this is this. It's still picking up items and using them in unique ways. Next level. Can I touch the, the black platforms? Is it only the lava ones that I can't touch? Yes. Tom Boxel says they were the, probably the first person to get killed by a car ah. in the sandbox. And I feel like that is an achievement of note. The, who was? Tom Voxel. He is oh. also dead, apparently. So <laughs> Lucas is dead. Tom is dead. We all dead. D-E-D. -E -D, dead. 
Hey, it's that time of year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess I was really close to the end doing this one in basically one shot, except, uh, ah, now I'm not doing so hot. It happens. I had a good start. Hmm. How many levels are there total? I'm guessing 12, if we're on level 4 right now. Or, yeah, we're on level 4, I think, right? So, I, I don't need to collect all these extra tokens, do I? Hey, here we go. Next level. Nine, including the fun part. Okay. Wait. There we go. Oh, I did not even see that black block. I love how the uh, the sand logos change each level. Mm-hmm. There are nine levels. Yep. Including the fun part. I want to know what he means by the fun part. I thought this was all the fun part. Is one of the levels <laughs> no, not fun? No, this isn't the fun part. Does it look like oh. we're having fun, Lucas? Yes. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to say no here, but I don't want to. <laughs> Lucas is like, I can tell no lies. I mean, I like playing games. I'm terrible at them, but I still enjoy them. <laughs> Uh, ah, the the pacing on this part is making me struggle. Ah, <sighs> 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 actually, you, do, you doing okay over there? I was telling Lucas before the stream started that I was busy modeling stuff yesterday at Magic of Oxel mm. for work. And so my left pinky is not having a fun time. And it's doing a lot it's of work. It's all jammed holding, up. It's doing a lot of work holding shift right now. Which I guess I could not do that and I could instead use the um the run speed change thing. Like but, some kind of a noob. But the problem there being that is, is it, I can't instantly change between walking and running mm. like I can by just taking my finger off shift. So Alex has standards and he will not compromise them. Oof. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a very narrow space to do those jumps down I hit my head I have standards yes ah. nah. Okay, we're just going to pretend that the last level, the first 75% of it, is how I played the whole rest of the game, too. We're just going to clip okay. that one part and be like, Alex totally did this well on the whole... What? <sighs> hey, how you doing over there, big guy? You, you doing okay? Uh, yeah? Doing good? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. 
I'm trying. Yeah, you're doing good. You'd be just <sighs> fine. It's it's like there's some platform games that I'm really good at. And I don't know why. Like what? Um I'm usually pretty good at Mario games. I'm not like speedrunner level, but who um, is? I, I'm decent. Well, there there are some people who play like those those ridiculous Mario Maker levels where they those, throw a shell, bounce it off a wall and then jump off the shell when it ricochets. I can't yeah, do those that. Those people are called witches. I... Witches. Which that's witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, it's not not really my speed, but uh, just the games in general, I usually do okay at those. Uh, I really like Super Meat Boy and Spelunky. You have and... mentioned Super Meat Boy before. Yeah, it's it's a hard platformer, but it's it's very fair. Okay. Um, and it's pretty good at like teaching you how to get better and stuff. How to get good. Yeah, it's not tutorials. It's just like the level design is designed in such a way that like lets you learn organically. It it teaches you through various things to like it hints at the way certain like traps or or things could be gotten past. Um, okay, it gives clues. Yeah, and it, and it gradually builds up your knowledge in how to navigate an unforgiving world. Well, that's very kind of them. What was that sound? That was, um, summoning a Yiddish ancestor, I think. Oh, that's fun. It's that's always that, nice to have a that, chat that, with an old relative. That's a, that's CH. <laughs> when you finish the level, when I finish this level, go to the fun part. Can I do that? He says you can. I believe him. He did make the game. Blue Tulip says, I was good at Prince of Persia 30 years ago. That's it. That's a that's uh, a good game to be good at. I've, you know, I don't think I've ever played a Prince of Persia game. I know mm. I know what they are, uh, but I don't think I've ever actually played one before. You know what game I was really good at that actually had some platformy type aspects to certain levels? Rocket Knight Adventures. I know we I've mentioned it before, and you've never played or heard of it. But it's the one where you're a knight hmm. who's also a possum who also has a jetpack. It's wonderful. I mean, it's the trio that goes better together than cookies and milk. Everybody <laughs> expects knights to be possums, but do they expect them to have jetpacks? No, but it works so well. <clears throat> it's that good, good. You know, something in the like being nostalgic for childhood and the sip of my monster which is this strawberry ultra or something ultra strawberry mm -hmm. dreams Ooh. um that's exactly what i dream about by the somehow, way somehow I, I i just got a craving for apple jacks <laughs> and it's weird because i never really my parents never bought sugar cereal uh okay. it, it was like for your birthday, you could ask for Reese's Puff cereal. Yep, same with my parents. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know why I'm craving Apple Jacks all of a sudden. I don't even really eat that much breakfast cereal because I don't need the carbs, sugar. But uh, it's just a really strange. I just, I just really want a bowl of Apple Jacks right now. Right there. I mean, I haven't had a bowl of Apple Jacks in a while, but now that you mention it, I'm like, you know what? That does sounds sound like a good, good idea. <laughs> that, does, that does sound like a positive life choice. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. 
sometimes sometimes when I stop moving forwards trying to reinitiate the jump, I don't feel like I'm getting the momentum again. Okay. That's one How of those things. Fix that? I I'm not entirely sure. That's one of those things where it's not the way the mechanic or the, not the way physics is supposed to work. So it's kind of You know, subtle changing of positioning can affect the way these things work. For the most part, they seem to work fine, but just every once in a while, as I'm as I'm trying to progress forwards, uh, or or I'm trying to like I try to slow down because I don't want to hit my head into like the the wall that's coming down in front of me. So because I want you're to. Quitter. No, because it kills me and sends me back to the. Well, I mean that too. <laughs> uh. But yeah, sometimes when I when I stop um, getting the jump restarted, is doesn't quite work, and then I just fall right down into the lava. Stupid lava. Yeah. Now I can't even get over the first jump anymore for some reason. It's all in your head, bro. You got this. And it's all in my head hitting the wall. I mean, that's not what I meant, but if you want to take it that way, that's cool. chair is very creaky sometimes but it's okay does the lantern kill me also or is my head hitting the lava block there it's hard to tell i think i, I think it was hitting the lava block yeah i don't think it's the lantern i've seen you run through that a couple times hmm. Why don't you just go over here and just jump us straight up and hit the lantern? You're on tilt, Alex. You got what? This. You're on tilt. I don't know what that means. It means like you messed up a couple times and now all you're doing is focusing on the mess up. It's like when somebody's on po playing poker and they're on tilt. They do a couple bad hands. They've been winning all night, but then they have a couple bad hands and then they lose everything. Mm. First, you don't know carpet. Now you don't know on tilt. I'm just pew, 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 firing on all cylinders today. Iverson says, if you want, you can respawn and look at different ah. levels from the menu. Hmm. Uh, I'm not even halfway through this one. But I've never been known to be a quitter. That is... I will describe Alex many different ways, and quitter is not one of them. But not a quitter? Not a quitter. I uh, I bumped my mic, so I heard I <laughs> all I heard was uh, I can describe Alex many different ways. That's it. That's all I said. That's, That's all it. I, I can describe Alex many different ways. And then I stopped. It was a very odd sentence. <laughs> feel like the 
final <gasps> countdown should be playing in the what? background right now. Oh, I got the next, <laughs> I got the next checkpoint. <laughs> I don't, I didn't feel like I had actually hit the block, but I'll, I'll take the I checkpoint. I didn't either. I'll take it. Oh man. Boop, boop. The nice thing is when you collect them, they're collected. Right. So you don't have to worry about making that Mission Impossible maneuver work again a second time. So how does this being on a four by four translate into the experience? Cause I feel like if this was like a side scroller type level, like we could do this on a one by one. Am I just completely off base there? Well, we're actually using the four length here. It's hard to tell cause of how many times I die, but we are actually doing a long length. Um, okay. Left to right. And then I think it's four deep because we um, have nine levels. So if the levels were spawned in, they could probably be done on a four by one. Um, but that's not always practical or necessary. So you can, you can stack up the levels like front to back. It's got a fixed camera view, so whichever one you're on, uh, set the camera to the view that you need. And then the next or previous level probably is behind me right now. I don't think kids have a lower collision than adults. Ah, uh, so what you're saying is you, it looks like you're going through an area, but you're actually still hitting that collision box. Yeah, to me, it, it looks like I shouldn't be hitting some of the collisions. I mean, not that one, but other ones. Um, so I'd maybe use, I don't know how I survived that. Um, I'd maybe use, um, <sighs> an adult human for a better collision box, like being able to sense what heights work. That's a, that's a really good bit of advice right there. Um, the idea being the, the visual representation isn't an, an accurate representation of where you'll actually collide could cause a lot of issues with players getting frustrated because they're not sure why they keep dying. Mm -hmm. NFT Santum says, I've noticed that the more land there is, the more likely it is that N NPCs that have movement, melee, citizen, etc., will sink to the ground. like sink into the ground? I don't know. I think that's what they mean, but I read it exactly as it was typed. I haven't um, been building a lot of large land spaces with NPCs milling about, so I have not noticed that myself. Um, it's fair. Could be could be some sort of bug. I mean, it's likely some sort of bug. Continue jumping where you died. Don't try to pass from below. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. I'm going to make myself some coffee while we're sitting here. Passage. You got all your coffee set up right there at your desk? I got like we're like uh, energy drink stuff. Oh, and I apparently, okay. apparently I'm out, so I spoke too soon. Oh, no. I opened it up and the coffee 
or the, the energy drink powder is is empty. I call it coffee. It's not coffee. I just use that as like a universal not term coffee. for anything with caffeine in it. <laughs> Doing okay with the big guy. So I think that lantern was deceiving me. Like I thought that I had to take that lower passage, but I really didn't need to. Could that be a red herring? Um, maybe. Maybe it wasn't intentional. Mm, it's just when I see red herring. When I see the the bounding box around the lantern, it looks like wall to me, kind of. I mean, I can tell that it's a lantern, but I don't think of it as being open space I can go through. Fair enough. We got this. We got this. Yeah. Alright, I got enough tokens. And mm -hmm. there we go. Oh. 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 Fun part. Huzzah! You Nightmare? Huge parkour, gold rush. We'll go with gold rush first. Oh, fun part. Nice. Yeah, gold rush. Huge parkour Collect is not 500 fun tokens. Part. Are they golden tokens? You missed me dying over and over and over again. No, he was only gone for a few seconds. That's not Jackie Chan, if you remember. You Melidox, I believe, is our pal, not Jackie Chan. Wish he would change his name, but he doesn't because he's, you know, taunting me. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. But he was just gone for a second. He was mixing himself up some G fuel. I'm not sure what G fuel, fuel is, but it sounds wonderful. Uh, depending on which one he gets, really tasty. Oh, okay. I've got the orange light lychee. Oh, it's got that sounds uh, wonderful. Dragon Ball Z on the on the container. Shut up! Really? Yeah, I found it at Walmart. That's awesome. Um, it's uh, it's it's an energy drink powder. Basically, uh, it's supposed to be like with like electrolytes and B vitamins and stuff. So it's it's not just straight caffeine. Unlike the gum I have in my desk drawer. I uh, I use this it's, uh, amino energy. It's basically exactly what you're saying, but uh, with a amino blend in it as well. I can do this part with my eyes closed. Also, I've been using these lately, and it's gonna it's gonna look terrible. But let me explain what it is before I before anybody jumps down my throat. So, I found these little cans. They look like they're dip, but <laughs> what they actually are is it's little pouches that just it's caffeine. You like oh, okay. put it in your mouth and you just suck on it, and it's like a little it's like a half a cup of coffee. And so. When I come into a situation where I'm not going to be able to use the bathroom regularly, I'll I'll jump one of those in there and instead of having like a coffee drink or whatever, and it helps me so I don't have to use the bathroom. I've got the Rev gum, which is two shots of espresso and a single is piece of gum. Good? Is it any good? I it, it'll wake you up. <laughs> I'm into it. I'll check it out. Um, yeah, I mean it's not something I try to take regularly because I'd rather have like some fluid with it. You know. It's fair. Because if you take that without any um, any fluids, and your heart can just start racing. At least mine can. Um, like I mean, I've I've been a caffeine addict since I was like five. So uh, five? Yeah, I started drinking coffee at, when I was a kid. When I was six, How I was drinking three cups a day. Did you have a job at like four? How are you paying for this? What is happening? Oh, my parents are both coffee drinkers, so I just. Oh, you were stealing I, from them. Got it. Alex it's, is a thief. It's like saying, oh, you stole the milk from the fridge. 
I did. I, I, I did. My parents would not let me have it, so I took oh, it. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yep. my, my parents were, were cooler than <laughs> that. Kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. They probably were, to be honest. But still. <laughs> um, I've tried the PewDiePie um, in a can. They have the G Fuel like already pre-mixed in a can. Not steal. Borrow. Yes. I will someday <laughs> return the caffeine to them. Yeah, exactly. Ex Thank you, Byverson. <laughs> Thank you. Which reminds me, I need to give my parents some milk back. Welcome to the Great Trail. Can you get the coffee to Uncle Sam in 10 minutes? Yes. There's a flavor called clickbait cherry pomegranate. <laughs> That's hysterical. It's very popular with gamers and they, they get a lot of brand sponsorships for uh, streamers and stuff. Nice. And then you can also find it like in Walmart. Mm. <laughs> I like that he added mini games fun part into this. That's mm -hmm. uh a very welcome addition. There was a game we were playing a while ago where I don't remember what it was, but you walked into like an arcade and each one of the consoles was access to a mini game that was themed after the console or the console was themed after the mini game. And I thought mm. that that was a really cool addition and we haven't seen a whole lot of that since. And so I've been looking forward to, to more mini game additions to other games. Mm. You said this was recently? Because I do remember like a while ago, there was one where there were a bunch of, of ar arcade machines. Was there also a giant arcade machine that was like a building? Yeah, so here's the deal. I have a very poor perception of the passage of time. So I'll say <laughs> the other day, and it was like 10 years ago. <laughs> or I'll say the other day, and it was like five minutes ago. So... Yes, you're right. That is the one I was talking about. <laughs> it drives my wife that was bananas. A at least a year ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the other day. <laughs> the other day, I said the other day, and uh, the person that we were talking to, like my wife goes, hold up for a second. When was this actually? And the person was like, it was our friend Zach, and he was just like, they just said the other day. So it was like, like a week ago or something. She's like, one second. Luc <laughs> Lucas. When was this actually? And I was like, one second, I'll look it up. And I was like, rah, 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 doing my thing on my phone. I get back to her and I was like, two and a half years ago. And she looked at Zach and she goes, that's why I asked. And he goes, the other day is not two and a half years ago. And she was just like, this is a losing battle. Trust me. Don't even try. <laughs> just, just roll with it. <laughs> oh, whale. Oh, whale. Yes. The other day is great because it does cover all the bases. Um, so I'm noticing you're having to go back and forth to get some of them. If the, my first thought is they should narrow the passage so that you don't have to do that. But what do you think? Do you think that adds fun to the experience or do you think that detracts from it? Well, the level design here actually had a separation in the depth. So there were, uh, you can see that there's the red brick, which is places I can't go. And then there's darker and lighter. So there's oh, like so two, it's part of it. Yeah, there's actually two layers here. So I have to pay attention okay. to which layer I'm actually on if I want to know when I'm going to stop. I'm gotcha. Like, okay, no, well, never mind. Criticism retracted. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's nothing up here? I feel like that this, this is like that underwater level in the original Nin Turtles uh, Nintendo game where you would like swim around and you you'd have this one area that looked so promising and you'd go up and all it was was the electrified seaweed that would murder you. <laughs> it was just one red herring after another. How's that uh, form coming along? 
I didn't even start it yet. My bad. Oh, we should start it because I'm getting yes. really super tired. Okay. Yeah. As I'm like Me. chugging caffeine, I uh, I can feel myself slipping. <laughs> my my eyes are just like, you didn't really sleep last night. <laughs> oh no. Yes. We will have that up and out in 30 seconds. Awesome. And we're only going to keep it up for a few minutes today. It's a flash giveaway. I like it when we do that. It's it keeps people on their toesies. Mm -hmm. bop, 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 bop. Here we go in the chat. Go get it. I need to turn it on. It's on. Go get it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Giveaway speed run. But yes, there is a giveaway. The form is in the chat for anybody who's not actually actively watching and just listening. Go, go, go. The form is no longer accepting responses. Just refresh it. It is. Why is there? Why did the arrows point me over here and then then back this way? It's confusing. So I have a number in my head. Uh, once the form hits that number, I'm turning it off. I'm not going to say what it is, Ooh. but it's low. Ooh, so, better get in there fast. And yeah. this is a new one. So everybody in the chat can enter this one. So one thing that could make this area more challenging, not that you necessarily want it to be more challenging, mm -hmm. um, would be to have the coins like kind of like sliding in and out of the wall. Ooh. Or you could even have wall parts sliding in and out as like temporary obstacles to like kind of time against. Just a little, little variety to spice it up. Or you could have a big, like, angry-looking, sharp, blocky thing that drops from the ceiling and mm. squishes you. Because that's never been used in a game before, ever. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I can't try and do my thwomp sound. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a lot of, like, reverb on it. It's kind of hard to do it with your real voice. Three responses away from closing it out. Two responses away from closing it out. Ooh. Ooh wee. We're almost there. Ah, I did it. With a minute and a half left to spare. Boom, baby. Uncle and Sam. And closing the form. Thanks, you've come a long way, but you didn't buy yourself coffee. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Did I not pick up the coffee? So how was I doing all the jumping? I had to have had the coffee because I was jumping. I'm... You're welcome. I completed the quest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> LCD? What? I'm confused.
Oh, it's um, oh oh. I should have gotten myself coffee as well. Okay. And let's see what nightmare is. Hey Alex, what's up? You got a winner already? Oh, that's right, because you don't have yeah, to check it against the list. I don't have to check against the list. That's super easy today. Congratulations goes out to Marshall 717. Congratulations. You have won yourself a helmet. It is also nice. a season pass and gets you in for some airdrops. It's beautiful. It's functional. It's yours. <laughs> Alex will send that over with the next batch of sends. It might not happen right away, but it will happen eventually. Enjoy and wear it with pride. Yeah, I'll be sending them out after midnight, uh, technically Monday morning. Pretty oh, okay. So pretty quickly. They'll all, they'll all go out. All nine will go out at the same time. Noise. Whoa. I've been seeing Marshall 717 pop up a lot on Twitter, X, Twitch lately. So it's nice to see them win something as well. Yeah. They're always uh, got something nice to say or they're there for a retweet or a positive moment. So that's nice. What? And this level is beautiful. There's things that can kill me in the dark. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Have you right. ever looked under your bed? I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you in the audience can tell. I, my eyes have actually been shutting while I'm playing because I'm zoning out. And <laughs> let's close this is, the show for this the is day, why, Alex. This is why you should get to sleep, kids. Because when I started talking about the things moving in and out of the wall, I wasn't sure if I was actually saying that. <laughs> it's like I had the idea and then my brain kind of fell asleep for a second <laughs> mid sentence. So, um, hey, Alex, anyway, we, yeah. we did just hit the second giveaway form <gasps> okay well then i guess i gotta play so this i'm gonna use we do the i'm gonna use the form that we already have okay we're drawn wizzy the wizzy orange singed hat there we go yeah. congratulations goes out to tom voxel hey you have won wizzy's orange hat congratulations my friend wear it with pride and it's funny because i didn't notice we'd gotten it and he's the one who clued me into it too so, I saw I saw the thing up at the top that said raised, but I wasn't. It just says raised 10k. It I didn't say if 10k was the limit that it was supposed to hit. Let me, let me check and make sure Tom hasn't won an orange hat already. I don't think he has. I probably should have said that. Check that before I said it out loud. One second. Nope, he hasn't won one yet. Congratulations, Tom! You do win one. All right, there we go. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out. Sorry I'm sleepy today. I've been busy. Oh, no, you're allowed. I will. I will. I'll show you what I was working on, though. Yes, please. It's the next landowner's thing. Oh. And um, it's a terrarium. It's oh, going cool. to be. It's gonna. It's it's the size of a land. It's uh. I mean not. It's this. It's a one thirty second scale size of a land. Um, <laughs> but say that's a it's an awfully presumptuous asset you're making there, Alex. But go on. <laughs> so 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 each voxel is is representing one meter. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to be scaled up to take up a whole land. This is going to remain. Uh, so I like it. That's 90... a really cool idea. Wait, why is it ninety five instead of ninety six? Uh oh. I may have oh, to no. stretch it. And uh... uh, now it's okay. It's an easy fix. Oh, okay, good. Whew. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna select this out here. And then, bam, bam. Fixed, basically, I might need to do some cleanup. Like, yeah, I don't want that. And yeah, there you go. Easy fix. Uh, so, so yeah, it's um, it, it, this is gonna have a base underneath it when it's done. Um, and I'll have uh like little like white lines going up the sides to make it look like it's in a glass case, kind of like this, except it's gonna be spaced out, and they'll have like little little dot patterns and stuff. Yeah, little shiny things. It. 
um, and it'll be sized so that way it when you put it in in your experience you could take like a, a mostly clear white glass blocks and kind of put them in that space so that way you can because we don't have transparency for assets mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so yeah um so i've got a subway station going on here so you got your entrance to the subway station i'm gonna turn on shading uh so you go down your subway station there's a subway station a little, little yellow uh step back from the yellow line caution uh um, <laughs> you got your little subway a very sharp turn for the subway it's a bumpy ride um we've got a sewer down here with some pipes and pipes connecting to more water pipes and a big water reservoir going up to a water processing plant here we've got a big trash bin parking lot building with a water tank on top we've got this skyscraper or just this part of a skyscraper you would imagine it like would extend off the side but this way you get to see inside of it with this elevator goes all the way down i like it to... it's like a dollhouse you know you you don't make all all the walls completely station or static so that they yeah. can't see inside yeah and you take the elevator all the way down you get all these storage spots here and a forklift so like the forklift i'm going to cut it out to be a separate piece and it'll be animated like moving the box up and down oh um, nice uh we got more water pipes there we got a little cafe there's storage room underground you know what this reminds me of hmm do you remember mighty max or Polly Pocket? yes mighty max is like a formative that's it's, i i never had a mighty max of my own i didn't but either but i loved them my, my best my friend, friend the when one. i was five i had my best friend who, when i was five i'd sleep over at his house all the time when i was a kid he had mighty max and just he had one of the big ones too he opened up and it's just like there's so many little things inside to move around yeah that's i loved those things so much um yeah so cool uh this reminds me of that so yeah. well done alex thank you got a a what are these things called barge Boat? well uh, the, the, it's a, it's got all the the cargo it's a cargo ship hmm. there's another name for these things i can't remember what it is a vestibule uh, that I don't is know, definitely words out there <laughs> that's not it um so eventually there's gonna be uh like lava caverns down here maybe i'll put is there gonna be lava like... monsters with belly buttons I don't, I, you know what? I think I could probably fit that in there. I'll make sure that don't. there's a belly button. If it's going to take way too much time on it, don't. No, nah, it's not going to take a lot of time. It's just, it's, uh, I just have to figure out how I'm going to fit it in there along with whatever secret Temple of Doom is down there. Um, nice. There will be probably some floating sky castle thing up in here. Like, there's so much space in here to use that I'm going to use it up. Um, and then, It'll have the glass container and the base around it and things will be animated. The little boats will be moving around and stuff. So, yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Container ship. I think that's what I was looking for. That sounds right. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Have a great weekend. I'm going to go take a nap. Bye, everyone. Thanks for stopping by.